Greetings everyone, it's your buddy BK here, and today I'm here with my very first home gaming system. This is what got me into gaming. That's right, it's the TI-99 for Alpha. This brushed aluminum masterpiece was what started off my journey till now. This is how I got into gaming. Uh, this thing was also the first 16-bit home computing system on the market. Okay, technically the TI-99 IV, which was its predecessor, was the first 16-bit. But it, 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 let's not argue about that. The important fact is, this is why I'm here, because of this thing. So, uh, what do you say? You want to take a ride with me? Back to my past? Come on, ride with me. Ride with me. So a little background on the TI-99. So the TI-99 and TI-99 for Alpha, or as I'll call her, Charlize, which I've actually never called her that before, but I'm calling her that now. So Charlize and I go way back. Um, this was, it was programmed with basic. You can do basic programming on it, uh, which is, you know, when you type in like 10 print fart 20 go to 10 and it would just go far 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 until you just like broke it broke the code and told it to stop not that i would ever do that but you got beginner's basic this is one of the manuals that came with it like you can go in and in this manual you could actually uh program an inchworm that crawled across the screen or snowflakes now i did do the inchworm one and it took me about six hours on a Saturday, and I believe it was cyan colored. And then I wondered, what am I doing with my life? But um, that was the thing. So it was mainly for programming stuff. Um, and this was expensive when it came out. The TI was, I think, like around a grand. It was not cheap. But unfortunately, what happened is they got into price wars with the Commodore, and they just kept spiraling down, and they kept lowering the prices to keep up with Commodore and they would give rebates like we'll give you hundred dollars back if you buy one of our systems or if you buy two joysticks and this we'll bundle something else in and got to the point that they actually lost money on it so the gaming system just it just disappeared um and plus by that point Atari was already out so people were already moving on and I'm gonna be honest uh it it's not like the 2600. I love the 2600. Um, there's no background music at all in these games. Um, the graphics are not bad. I mean, they're pretty good. But there are some games that are just fantastic that I remember on this. And I'll always remember sitting there playing these games. Which is kind of why I'm doing this like this. Because when I played these games as a kid... My butt was sitting on a cold basement floor like I'm doing right now with a CRT propped up above me and the TI-99, it wasn't on a box amp. I, I will admit that. It was on a box or something or on my lap. And uh, you just sat there and you looked up and played. And like, this is, what, this is what it was like. Now, granted, you may be asking, like, the component cables. You're going to ask that one. And someone's going to ask that. Um... So what happened is the RF modulator, you may be asking why I didn't use it. Well, this thing crapped the bed, so I got rid of it. So I soldered up me and Radio Shack, and I miss you, Radio Shack. I wish you would come back. But me and my Radio Shack soldering iron and all my soldering tools and my <laughs> Radio Shack solder that I still have since circa 2000, maybe, 99, uh, we took the DIN 5 connector. We rewired it and uh, we made component out. So now I have stereo speakers and it works. So, yay. But uh, it's one of those things that um, it's, it's, I, I can't put in the words. Like playing this, I just remember this so much as a kid um, that it's something I, I think. So, this will probably be a, a multi part video. Because I don't think I can accurately do it justice in one part. So there, there was... Now, besides programming, like I said, there were games. That's why I called it a gaming system. Now, the only games I had as a kid, I will admit, were... First, you had Number Magic. 
And then you also had Demolition Division. So Captain Allen's wrote sorry about Demolition Division. But you got tanks shooting at numbers, so that's pretty cool. And you will notice on some of them that they say solid state cartridge or solid state software command module. Because it was like you were flying to the moon with these. It was a command module. Um, but the ones I really want to get into, I really want to dig into, and I'll do that on this one, is Parsec. I love freaking Parsec. 21st century, Tombstone City, 21st century, which is kind of like, it's kind of like, like centipede, millipede, I want to say. Pars Parsec, to go back, is kind of like Gradius but without any of the background music or the power-ups or anything. It's very stripped away gratis, but it still was awesome. Um, and that was all I had as a kid. All right, before we play Parsec, let me give you a quick overview of the controls to let you know what I'm dealing with here. So, since I'm using the keyboard, this is what we got. We have the E, X, S, D, up, down, left, right, you know, typical, that's fine. You may think space is the shoot, but it's not, it's the period. But there's an alternate shoot button, which is Q and Y, which I guess if you're trying to play it and you wanna use your right hand to do directionals, that's fine, it makes sense, but they penalize you. Because if you use Q or Y to shoot, you can't move while you shoot, unlike with period. Why they have that that way, I have no idea. None whatsoever. Everything in this game is your enemy. You, you can hit the ground and die. You can run into an enemy and die. Um, if you shoot your laser too much, your main weapon, you also die. So you can overheat and blow up as well with that. But the biggest pain is the refueling tunnels, which should be your friend, but they may be your biggest enemy because whoever designed them has stalactites and stalagmites all over the place. So getting through them and navigating them without dying is probably the hardest part of this game. And if you run out of fuel, you also blow up. There are three lifts, as they call them, which are one, two, and three. And by default, you start out on three lift. So basically, it's kind of like the gain for your joystick or directional button. So if you're on three, you can move really far on the screen with you know, you just press it and it moves really far. If you go two, it's a little reduced, and one is super slow motions. So basically, it's like turning down the caffeine level of your responsiveness. And when you refuel, you better be on one or you're gonna hit freaking something and die and blow up in the tunnel. But unfortunately, what you need to do is as soon as you're done refueling and you try to leave out, you gotta quickly hit that three button because you have one of the main cruisers trying to to take you out, which is what happened all the time, if I remember right. But anyway, without further ado, let's play Parsec, because this game, I remember it being fan-freaking-tastic. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Parsec Part 2. That's right. Last night, a couple things became very apparent to me. One, that I, unlike Parsec, no longer have my lift setting at the highest gain of 3. I'm maybe at a 1.5 these days. I have definitely slowed my roll over the years and trying to play with the keyboard just wasn't happening. I'm kind of amazed I actually ever could get as far as I did. Anyway, I'm gonna try it again and I definitely will be using the remote controller, the wired remote controller this time. So, all right, let's give it a go. Thank <laughs> you. 
here we go. Down the lift one. Already I'm doing a lot better than I did yesterday, so it's one of those times you're like, coach, take me out of the game. I'm just not, I'm not doing it. I love little robot guy. What's up, Robbie? All right, come on, come on, come on, we can do it. Yes! Uh, this this is when he's gonna come at me if I remember right, and I gotta go to lift three quick or else I'm donezo. Sweetness! Oh, I was wrong. about sweet. Well, I guess I shouldn't say sweet. Alright, nice. Level two. kind of get the gist anyway uh that's parsec um it explains a lot now that i think about it this being the first game actually the first ever home game that we had um i played this the most and i think it's probably where my love of shmups comes from because i mean 
This, I mean, granted, it's not typical bullet hell. It's more like not even bullet heck, but uh, I still a shmup. Uh, I think this explains why I love shmups the best, I think. Um, and no, there are no continues.